It has been a while since we heard about new RQI. The city-oriented A1 legal motorcycle is supposed to be new's first try in the e-motorcycle segment, since this manufacturer is primarily known for making e-scooters. The latest reports suggest that RQI bikes will start appearing in dealerships all over the globe in 2023. The electric heart of the RQI is represented by a 7.5 kilowatt mid-mounted motor with a chain drive. The powertrain will top out at the speed of 62 miles per hour, but there's an additional power boost button for quick sprints to 70 miles per hour. New RQI draws power from two 72 volt, 36 amp hour battery packs that are rated for 75 miles of riding. The batteries are removable and are placed vertically in the so-called fuel tank area and take seven hours to be recharged from a domestic power outlet. The two battery units account for 105 pounds of the bike's overall 410 pound curb weight. RQI Sport received a decent set of motorcycling parts namely an inverted suspension fork, a front brake caliper with radial mounting, and a combined braking system. Unlike some of its direct competitors, the bike is lacking a traction control system, a reverse gear, and an ABS. The absence of such features is compensated by such high-tech components as a TFT dash that is used to activate launch and cruise control systems, switch between different power modes, and display output from front and rear security cameras. Speaking of safety and security, the bike is also equipped with a keyless ignition, GPS tracking, and a steering lock. Finally, New UK recently teased an RQI X concept, suggesting that a scrambler version of the RQI bike may be in the works. After a series of delays and roadblocks, the Flow motorcycle is available for pre-order. The elegant and futuristic Flow features a distinctive rear wheel with blackout covers, hiding the patent-pending electric motor. The motor is offered in two modifications. The base motor pushes out 11 kilowatts of output, while the sporty 1S modification has the claimed output of 35 kilowatts and 553 pound-feet of torque. The latter enables the flow to sprint from 0 to 60 in just 2.7 seconds. The sustained speed reaches 55 miles per hour for the base motor setup and 85 miles per hour for the sporty 1S model. Finally, by housing the powertrain and the braking system in the rear wheel, the engineers managed to reduce the bike's weight to 400 pounds and free up space inside the monocoque chassis. This space is used to house a massive battery pack and a storage unit with 50 liters of capacity. The integrated battery pack has the total capacity of 10 kilowatt hours, which is enough to keep the 1S motor running for 150 miles in the urban environment. Besides having a decent riding range, this model supports CCS Type 2 charging, strong enough to top the battery in about 30 minutes. In case of home charging, you'd have to wait for 10 hours. With the Flow motorcycle, you can expect to get such high-quality components as rear shock suspension with adjustable preload, 40mm inverted telescopic fork, front disc brake with a two-piston caliper, rear brakes with a regenerative ABS system, and a connected interactive dashboard for controlling features like blind spot detection, electronic traction control, keyless ignition, walk and reverse assist, etc. This year's Milan Motor Show marked the beginning of a new era for Yadea. Until recently, they were predominantly producing electric scooters and compact urban mobility vehicles. However, with the unveiling of the Keenness VFD, the brand is targeting the beginner-friendly class of electric motorcycles. This street motorcycle received a modern look with sporty design elements, but in terms of performance, this two-wheeler could only compete with 125cc ICE counterparts. The bike's powertrain is comprised of an electric motor capable of producing 10 kilowatts of peak output and 206 pound-feet of electrified torque and two battery packs with 4.6 kilowatt hours of total capacity. With this battery pack, the mid-mounted motor unit grants you an 87-mile riding autonomy and a full charge. The technical package is also quite strong with this one, as you get a 5-inch LCD display and a Yadea app. These will surely simplify the use of all available features and analysis of performance metrics. The preliminary data suggest that Yadea is planning to include this two-wheeler in their 2023 model lineup.
At a first glance, the upcoming RX1e by CSC Motorcycles is a true adventure-style motorbike with the class-specific upright stance, bash guards, a set of cargo boxes, and a windshield. However, the manufacturer and the powertrain setup suggest that this model could also serve as a practical city commuter. With the installed 8kW electric motor, you have 18kW of peak output and 61.2 pound-feet of torque at your disposal. These motor parameters mean that the acceleration to 60 miles per hour would take just 9 seconds, while the top speed is limited to 80 miles per hour. RX-1E's powertrain also supports reverse gear for navigating tight spaces and an electronic cruise control system. Besides the electronic cruise control, this model comes with a good deal of quality components, namely a halogen headlight with LED running lights in the corners, a backlit LCD speedometer and information panel, 37mm inverted telescopic fork with 4.7 inches of travel and adjustable rebound damping, preload adjustable rear suspension with 4.3 inches of travel, all-terrain tubeless tires with aluminum wheels, ABS brakes both front and rear, saddlebags and a top box providing 19 gallons of cargo capacity. Finally, with a 96-volt, 64-amp-hour lithium-ion pack, you can expect between 80 and 112 miles of riding. BRAP is an Australian motorcycle company that is trying to make a decent entry into the affordable electric motorcycle class. Despite having significant experience in production of low-displacement dirt bikes, sport bikes, cruisers, and cafe racers with ICE powertrains, this company believes that there's a great demand for models that produce a much lower environmental footprint. To achieve this goal, BRAP is keeping design work and R&D in Australia while manufacturing assistance is provided by partners in Asian countries. The two-wheeler is available for purchase in three modifications, differing in terms of performance and estimated riding range. In its base configuration, the model comes with a 5kW electric motor that is paired to a 72V 60Ah battery pack. With these technical specifications, your maximum riding speed is said to be about 65 miles per hour. The second model up the spec ladder offers a motor with 8kW of output and the 68mph riding speed. Finally, the flagship configuration is represented by a powertrain with 10 kilowatts of output and an 80 mile per hour velocity. Depending on the chosen configuration, you can expect the riding autonomy from 50 to 85 miles, depending on your average speed of travel. Once depleted, the model would require from four to six hours of charging. Coulter, one of the few Asian e-bike manufacturers that is openly operating on the American motorcycle market, is back with a new affordable model. The recently unveiled Coulter RS1 is available for pre-order, with delivery scheduled for 2023. The upcoming commuter bike was produced to provide the best specs for the price. You get an 11kW electric motor unit with 35kW peak output capabilities and maximum riding speed of 80 mph. The manufacturer's extreme cost cutting did not influence the bike's battery. It's a 72 volt, 120 amp hour unit with lithium ion chemistry that goes up to 125 miles on a charge. The battery pack is non removable. It weighs 127 pounds, thus bringing overall curb weight to 417 pounds. This battery requires six hours of charging from a standard 120 volt outlet, thanks to the built in 2 kilowatt charger. Fast charging through a J1772 charging outlet is supported too, so you could take advantage of public fast speed chargers. Besides a relatively good range, with RS1 you also get an inverted fork and a monoshock suspension in the rear. The braking comes courtesy of hydraulic disc brakes that are also backed up by ABS. The technological package is represented by a color LED display, advanced battery management system, an anti-theft alarm, and a keyless access feature. Tramox is a relatively new name in the world of electric transport, but its products have already managed to create quite a bit of buzz in the EV community. Last year, the company presented two electric minibikes that are perfect for navigating busy city streets. 
This year, however, Tramox decided to announce some improvements that will be introduced to their models soon. The newly presented Uko AT received all the required gear and technical upgrades to turn the standard Uko city bike into an all-terrain ready machine. This tiny e-motorcycle is based on an aluminum alloy cradle frame. It features an oil damp spring suspension in the front and an airbag suspension in the rear. The bike is rolling on a set of wire-spoked wheels, 16 inches in the front and 14 inches in the rear. The performance comes courtesy of a 4-kilowatt electric motor that channels its power through a specially developed gearbox. As a result, 8-kilowatt peak output capabilities and a 162 pound-feet of torque output were achieved. The motor works in tandem with a 72-volt, 50-amp-hour battery pack. With such powertrain parameters, you can zip through busy city streets at speeds up to 55 miles per hour or do some slight off-roading for distances up to 60 miles. The MC-10 is yet another new model that Tramox had on display during this year's Motor Show in Milan. This compact two-wheeler received high fenders and minimalist styling. It has the seat height of 85 centimeters, tips the scales at 220 pounds, while its ground clearance is at 11 inches. The bike's off-road nature is backed up by the presence of a four-link suspension system with an adjustable shock located in the middle, as well as an inverted spring hydraulic front suspension. In terms of performance, MC-10 is offered with a 5-kilowatt electric motor good for 10 kilowatts of peak output and 206 pound-feet of instantaneous wheel torque. The base model is equipped with a single 72-volt, 30-amp-hour battery unit that needs three hours to be fully recharged. It grants you the maximum riding speed of 47 miles per hour and the range of 75 miles. There is also a dual battery option that would let you travel for longer distances and unlock the higher top speed capabilities of 56 miles per hour. Stash by Vmoto was first previewed in its concept form during last year's Milan Motor Show. This year, however, the company arrived to the exhibition with a production-ready version of this two-wheeler. Just like the concept, the bike will keep the Stash nameplate. The company explained this name choice by a generous amount of storage offered by the motorbike. The front tank area has enough storage space to stash away your helmet and other motorcycling essentials. The two-wheeler is brought into motion by means of a powertrain duo, consisting of an 8-kilowatt hub motor and a 72-volt, 100-amp-hour battery pack. Once fully charged, this 315-pound model can provide up to 93 miles of riding in eco mode. Please note that the bike has a 15-kilowatt peak output and is capable of reaching the top speed of 65 miles per hour. However, riding at higher speeds drains the battery at a much higher rate. There's also a boost mode that could be engaged to unlock better acceleration and a 75-mile-per-hour top speed for a short period of time. Vmoto Stash is rolling on a set of 17-inch wheels has a combined braking system, an ABS, and hydraulic disc brakes in both the front and in the rear. The history of Velocifero as an urban mobility brand was kicked off by the production of rugged electric scooters with great riding agility and attention-grabbing looks. However, for the 2023 model year, the company is expanding into the market of light electric motorcycles. Velocifero Jump is a city-oriented model. It measures 6 feet in length and tips the scales at 198 pounds with the battery installed. Speaking of the battery, it's a 72-volt, 39-amp-hour unit that could carry riders up to 200 pounds for up to 50 miles. This range estimation was recorded at an average speed of 28 miles per hour. The bike's motor is rated for 3 kilowatts of continuous and 5 kilowatts of peak output, so you'd be able to go up hills with 25-degree inclines and reach speeds up to 50 miles per hour. The jump features such motorcycling components as a swing arm-mounted monoshock suspension in the back, an upside-down fork in the front, 220mm disc brakes on both wheels, and a 5.5-inch TFT dashboard for displaying key riding data or switching between four available riding modes.
Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.